I'm gonna try to get right over it. He smoked it. Did you see him come out? <laughs> no. We get, we're gonna, man, he's just sitting on the bottom. Like, I can't move him. It's all right. This is the time to see what he is. We are back at the little slice of heaven known as Uncle Mark's Outpost. Um, there's a young man by the name of Sam. Carger? Carger. Carger, got it right. Introduce yourself, Sam. I'm Sam Carger. I'm from Southern Ontario, Waterloo. Flew out about three hours, <laughs> waited in the airport about eight, and then I'm here. You're here, you've been living on the island for how many days? Oh man, I've been here since, when was it, Sunday? No, Mon the 13th. He's, he, he's been so. here for about four days. He, oh, wow. We booked a one-way flight because we didn't know how long Sam was going to stay. Um, I haven't been here. It is, you're staying how long for the rest of the week yet? I probably. He may yeah. never go home. He may be living I here. I might just live at the outpost here. It's, it's a sweet spot. Sam's been doing some fishing with the new uh, Old Town canoe we got. Uh, you caught some bass. You caught a musky. I caught a the musky. like 40 inch musky. He caught a nice musky and he's been staining boards, the tongue and groove. I'm going to give you a quick little glimpse of the cabin and then we got to go fishing and we're going to do a multi-species. I asked Sam, I said, what do you want to fish for? And he said, I want to fish for a little bit of everything. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I'll probably be musky fishing off the front. He might do some bass fishing. If we see walleyes, we'll stop and fish for them. Um, but like, if you want to do multi-species, Lake of the Woods is like, that's, that's a cool part about it. But I want to show you this beautiful cabin. So first thing I noticed coming up here, that is what the exterior is going to look like. That's the board and batten that uh, we've been staining and putting up by we. My parents have been crushing the staining. I got, I got lovely parents, I, I love them so much and they do way more for me than they should, but they've been staining a lot of that board. Um, Uncle Mark's been trimming in the windows and looking inside here, I don't know if things are too much different inside other than the fact that we have all this tongue and groove from Lumber Zone that Sam, you've been staining. How many boards yeah. have you been staining so far? 67 right now. And there's like 500 around, in total? And then there's, well, probably more than that, but we also got the door in at the back there. And now you're by yourself for the weekend. Oh yeah, everyone left me. <laughs> Mark right, left. So. Um, we got a uh, guy by the name of Ben driving up from uh, Minnesota tomorrow. But anyways, we're gonna go fishing. I told Sam, I said, you come up, help us out. We're gonna go fishing and we're gonna document it because why not? Because I, I film everything. So anyways, we're going fishing on Lake of the Woods. Um, it's probably just gonna be GoPros. And if something good happens, then the big camera will come up. We're gonna catch a musky. Maybe. You're gonna catch a big bass. Fishing 519, that's the handle? Fishing the 519, yes. That's sir. your area I'm actually code. wearing the hoodie right now. The swag. Oh! Comes to Lake of the Woods and it's he gets a small big smokes. Hey, it's a big bass. Look at that little, look how fat he is though. It's gonna be big one day, or some at least. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's clumped up with the, that's a red bass. Going for bass. There we go, Jake. Instant, instant. That's a good walleye. No! Yeah. <laughs> so this rock spine sticks out. We caught those bigger ones on the top or have those bites shoot. And then there's some on the, there we go. Oh. Oh. On the mud on this you side. You missed them and then I hooked into them. There we go. Nice. Nice. That'll be your dinner on the island. Hold it up, real close to my head. Boom, 40 inches. Beautiful. It's just like the first drop with the jig and wrap or something. It's just, it's the best bait for stuff like that because it just gets in their face instant. Like that. Oh, Double doubled up. up. But I, <laughs> Sam's is gone. It's fun, isn't it? It's so fun. When you rip it and then it just stops. Like that? Like that, it's the best. Yeah, we're catching a lot of walleyes. Yeah. There we go, Jake. There we go. Oh, oh I lost one too. That's Another a big perch. perch. Oh, I'm on. Man, it is stacked. It's a good eye. Look at the, you know they're good when they start to get the hump. Yeah. Boom. To the cabin and Aaron pulled out his laptop and he's like, is that a fish? Yeah, it <laughs> is. That's a good one. Either it's fouled or it's big. Do you want help? Yeah, I mean, maybe be just ready with the musky net. It might just be hooked on the side. I loosen up my drag. No. I'm assuming it's just hooked on the side. It's that might be of... good though. No, uh, Jay. Hang on, should I grab the net? Yeah, grab it. We just got the musky net along, but these fish love to throw these jigging wraps. I might be able just to get down on my hands and grab it too. Oh, that hurts. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. I'm surprised it popped after all that fighting, never saw it. Shoot. All right. That was exciting. 
hook one. There we go. Hit me on the fall. I got one too. Is it? Are we hooked on each other? I don't think so. No. Mine is way bigger though. No. No shot. What's that like? Oh, we'll never know. 15 Oops. inches. Ah. Oh. We'll never know. What you got? Musky? That's big. Big pike. Big pike. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Everything's good. Just take your time. That's a musky, I'm not even joking. Or a really big pike. I'm gonna try to get right over it. He smoked it. Did you see him come out? No. We get, we're gonna, man, he's just sitting on the bottom. Like, I can't move him. It's all right. Big pike. Oh, that's big a big pike. pike. Woo -hoo -hoo. Big pike. That's a big pike. There you go. Who needs the big baits, anyways? That's a real good pike. That's a tank. All right. That little. That was on the headbanger. The headbanger plastic. Headbanger plastic. And the Jay's jig. Yeah. That thing should not like that right there. So yeah. I did it. Size of that. Oh, look at the size of that. Wow. She is so fat. That's oh. 40. Yeah, she's 40. Okay, I'm gonna put her in the net. Good job, buddy. Unreal. Holy right there, that makes the day. We're doing a little multi-species and uh, he wasn't even fishing for big fish, but he got a big oh, fish. That's okay. a personal best okay. pike. That, that's easily. Easily, that's all right. Easy. Let's see, buddy. Oh. Under the belly. Oh, dude, that's a tank. What do you think about Lake of the Woods? I'm in love with it. <laughs> Had a muskie a few days ago and now this behemoth. Loving it. So good. Dude, that is amazing. That's a Lake of the Woods pike right there. Unreal, all right, let's get let's her back. Get back. She had a pretty long fight there on the light line, but the biggest thing is just getting the back of the water quickly and giving her time. But that, that, I mean, that wasn't nearly as long of a fight as it could have been for, for a pike of this size. <laughs> That's good. That's uh, good. I felt good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam is being rewarded. He's been staining boards this week at Uncle Mark's outpost and we went out for an evening session and there you have it. Smack down some walleyes, a couple tiny bass. Got a beautiful rock bass off film, but personal best pike. That's what I love about Lake of the Woods is the variety. It's a pretty cool lake. All right, welcome back to the middle of nowhere. This is the thickest fog I've ever seen on Lake of the Woods. We're with Ben. Ben, uh, how far did you drive to come up here? Seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours from? From like 25 miles west of Minneapolis. Nice, nice. Ben offered to come uh, help out on the island and I was like expecting to show him Lake of the Woods and like, look how beautiful it is. And we can't even see anything. Anyways, we're doing some fishing this morning. We're gonna do a little musky fishing. We're gonna do a little walleye fishing and then I'm gonna drop them off. Um, I think Sam's on the, I think, I know Sam is still on the property still. So we're gonna pick him up and do some fishing. We are going to fish off of this side. So I would say, and we're fishing. Right here, this is the juice. I've had my heart broken twice here, right off this point. Actually, once on that meat eater video, the one that I did with Scotty, the, the scuba diving one, tried to catch one off this point and he came out just ferocious. And, there we go, we're on. Yeah, oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, it's off. Oh, man. Oh, that was a big musky. Do you see him? No. Woo! Look at those teeth marks. That was, uh, that was the spot. Oh! Oh, Ben, I wish you could have seen that. All right, well, we're gonna see if we can cover some ground down the lake now. And it was like slow-mo when he popped off. Oh, right there, we got some walleyes. Right on the top of the reef. 25 to 30 feet is like my go-to at this time of year. Don't know how big these fish are, but likely walleyes. There you go. <laughs> Welcome to Lake of the Woods. Yeah, there you go. There we go, I'm on. Mine might be, mine might be slightly bigger. There we go, food for the boys. Nice, his name's Ben Fisher for a reason. <laughs> oh, there you go. Aww. There goes your lunch. Here we go, another walleye for the boys. 
This dock is pretty sketch. Uh, yeah. So, so just be careful. Like we are going to unload his stuff and we'll go fishing for a little bit. I don't have too much time, but we'll go crash, crash a couple walleyes. Wow, this is like epic, epic lighting right now. So apparently there's fish here too. It's Molly. This is our second one ever. Really? Come on, second smallmouth ever. And it's a giant. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Ben's on. Fish tacos. That's fish tacos. That's a, that's a taco and a half. Nice, I saw him just screaming down there. More tacos. I can taste it. Oh yeah, that's two, that's three tacos. Nice. Chicken wrap, Lake of the Woods. Ben Fisher on the board. Sweet. Yep, there's a lot down there. Doubled up. Oh, this one feels nice too. Unless he's hooked on the side. No, pike. Got the pike. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. You're getting in the boat. Go. Oh, that's decent. That's a solid wall on. Oh, nice. I'm gonna get the net. Just got good vibes. No, oh, that's a nice walleye. A little overkill on the net. <laughs> well, Lake of the Woods gold. Sweet, so this is your first time in Lake of the Woods. Oh yeah. First impressions? First it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll put that one back. I think we're good for tacos. She gone. Oh. Go. Woohoo! That's a good one. That might be your biggest walleye. Do you want me to net it? <laughs> we got him. Nicely done. Biggest one of the trip? Yes, sir. Well, guys, unfortunately, I think I gotta go. It's fall time in the north. The trees are turning yellow. And I was thinking in my mind, when I've you just been envisioning this whole thing coming together, like this is the prettiest time of year. And that is exactly when the cabin will hopefully be finished at Uncle Mark's outpost. If you guys haven't been following along, we are building an off-grid fishing camp, cabin, outpost, whatever you want to call it, on Lake of the Woods, which will be available to the public in the spring. But um, now we are in the heart of building. I've been doing a little bit of building. Unfortunately, the time where I'm like the most involved, obviously there isn't much filming happening. So I, I, I promise you, I have been doing work, but I've been doing a little bit of work kind of helping quarterback uh, some of the behind the scenes stuff. We've had, you know, the opportunity to partner with some great companies, some great people. Uh, I've been helping facilitate bringing people up. Um, our uncle Mark, hence the name Uncle Mark's Outpost has been the, the boots on the ground here doing it. Um, but today we have custom drilling, Jake Garrow out from Kenora. They're putting in a gray water field which essentially is your gray water. Everything except what goes in the toilet, basically, uh, is gonna go into this pit. So that's your used dishwater, uh, stuff from the shower, all that is gonna go into this gray water pit. Eventually we'll get a septic field here, but that's what they're working on. And then this right here is one of our fishing rigs that is gonna be available for people to use, you know, free of charge if they're down here. So I know not everyone's gonna wanna bring a boat or have a boat when they come down here. Old Town hooked us up with this awesome, awesome canoe. It's got the square stern for the trolling motor, the 100 amp power, Dakota lithium. So this is sweet. If you wanna go fishing in the evening, we're gonna use it for duck hunting. I'm sorry how loud it is. There's a lot going on. We're gonna go up to the cabin and see what is really happening. Cause we got quite a few people on hand right now. Ben, what's going I, on? Oh, not much. <laughs> the camera in your face. <laughs> yeah, I didn't great. give you any warning. I'm yeah, sorry. The perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how have the first couple days been down here? It's been great. Yeah. What, what have they been keeping you busy with? Uh, some electrical work, digging a big hole out there. For the <laughs> yeah. So no, it's been nice. It's been busy, which is good. So yeah, lots of done. people, lots of different projects on right, the go. Right. See what's going on upstairs. Uh, Sam. What's going on, buddy? What have you been up to? Staining and staining and more staining. staining and more staining. How many boards do you think you've stained? Well, that's your pile. Yeah. 
It's probably over 150, <laughs> 160. Right now we're just moving all these so we can stay in the backs of these white and then move them back over. Love it. It's been a good couple weeks. Mark, it's your time to shine. I don't like shining anymore. Uh, how's your uh, anxiety level while getting it done before fall? Well, it's it's better <laughs> now that we have some insulating crews on the books to come. Yep, insulating is going to be huge. Yeah, that'll be a big time saver. What's the goal for today? What are you working on? Just facilitating and I'm managing? Co coordinating at the moment. Project manager. This yeah. is what you actually signed up for, this sort of stuff. But you ended up doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Oh, well. Oh, you made this seem like it was a lot of work, Sam. It looks pretty easy. Hang on, buddy, hang on. Then you gotta go back, right, right, right. And you gotta give her a little dip and go right down the middle. And it's an art. It's an art, Jay. You gotta get her going right down the middle. And then what you do is you gotta, you look at it. Yep. You look right down it, and you gotta make sure that there's no dry spots. Because if there's a dry spot, that means that's You think you missed any? Wonky. No, I didn't this time. And then you grab your handy dandy paintbrush. Look at you. And then you clean up the edges and everything once you're done. I like it. You're a pro. That happens when you stain for a week. Yesterday I was running those cords with those guys and it was the best day of my life. Something different? Something different, I know. Yeah. It's just mind numbing, but hey, it's gotta get done. It's all, yeah, this has to, this pile, and then look at all that down there that has to get stained. Mike Tatoli, everybody. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good, you? Good. Uh, Mike, Mike helped us out in the Thirty Hours finale a couple years ago. Anyways, Mike has a podcast called the Casting Deck Podcast. You should check out. He's also got a company called Two Rivers Boatworks, and he did work on my snowmobile, some welding. What do you do? You do everything? Interior, exterior? I, I think you and I had this conversation. I do a little bit of everything, uh, jack of all trades, but master of none. <laughs> yeah. No, but, but seriously, if, if you're looking for someone uh, in the Winnipeg area to work on your boat uh, or snow machine or anything in between, he does snow, bears fix, snow bear fixing too. So anyways, he's your guy. I'll link him below. But anyways, Mike graciously offered to come down for a couple days. We did a little walleye fish on the way down. I think uh, Mike's installing a door on the mechanical room, but I need to do a little walking around to show you what's all changed since last time. This cabin is filling up with stuff. We got furnaces. We got a stove on the way. We got more furnaces. We got the mechanical room boarded. You can't see through here anymore. It, there's just so much. At the start, it, it takes a long time to get to those first couple things. And now it's like starting to seal stuff up. And yeah, I, I know I say this every single video that's like, oh, now it's exciting. We did this, we did that. But I mean, soon we're gonna have running water. I'll show you the mechanical room now. Oh yeah, by the way, we got a storm door here. Three Seasons room is probably gonna get sealed up pretty soon. And now we are into the mechanical room. And right here you can see part of our water system. And that is actually gonna be a standalone video because there's so much to talk about the water system. It needs to be a video on its own. Same thing with the solar. The solar is gonna be a video on its own because there, there's just too much going on. But as you can see, the mechanical room is, this is, this is where a lot of the, I, what I find interesting stuff is going to be. So it's the water system. Um, we're working with the water e-store um, and Gary, Gary the water guy, he's got a YouTube channel. And yeah, we're, we're partnering with them on this. We've got the inverter and the panels with our friends at SolarPod. We've got Dakota Lithiums coming in. We're going to have a heater in here because we need to keep this above freezing. We're going to have the security camera system in here. Um, but right now, Mike is putting in this heavy duty steel door. Yeah, we wanted something obviously very industrial. This room is gonna be locked, it's gonna be heated, and people aren't like gonna be going in here unless you know we're touring somebody, but this is gonna be where obviously a lot of value is, but also just you know to keep the cabin running. We gotta make sure things are good in this room. So, anyways, um, Mike's gonna work on the door. I'm gonna go check on the guys doing the gray water tank, and then eventually I'm gonna cook fish for the guys. It's uh it's a big day. So you put a couple you've hung a couple doors in your day? A few. I mean, this cabin potentially is going to shift. Is there any way to account for that or not really? You just have to not adjust really. the doors. Make adjustments. Yeah. Make sure you leave your enough, soft enough room to make adjustments. So. Yeah. So you guys just built the sand pit the last two days. Yeah, well, we heard there were kids coming out and we wanted to make sure that they had some place to play. I thought this would be a litter box for my cats. What are this we dealing is, with? This is a gray water field. 
I think out of all the things we did on this project, is this the only thing we needed a permit for basically? I feel like. Maybe electrical. You know, out of the town limits and stuff, you don't have to get permits with building code and all that. But you still want to follow it, helps for insurance and all that. But this actually we needed to get a permit for, so we had a guy come in and help consult on where we should put it. It's good, because I know nothing about this sort of stuff, but uh, this happened fast, this was in a day and a half. How much better is this than spending a week down here by yourself, Mark? I've realized I'm a kind of a more of a people person. <laughs> yeah. Although I'm not very good with people, I just, yeah, I like to have people around. That's fair. Bears are kind of rough to snuggle Have with. there been more bears around? Yeah, apparently uh, Sam has seen one coming out of the outhouse. I don't, I, I, we have a story about Mark and a bear. We're gonna tell it at some point, but not this video. Anyways, Mark has, has a run in with the bear. Hey, since, uh, since there's not too much machinery running right now, Mark, can you tell us what exactly is happening with the water line here? Uh, yesterday, Scott, Sam, and Ben worked on this, uh, and Boehner dug the ditch with the machine. Yep. So this is to get slope, get a little bit of below frost. We're gonna cover it up with the styrofoam to uh, try to help keep it from Will the styrofoam just break when the weight freezing. hits on top of it? Well, we were hoping to be able to steal some sand from the field, but it doesn't look like we're going to have that option. Yeah. So we'll have to make sure the clay nice and smooth, yeah. level, and then the styrofoam will go in. Hmm. And we'll hope that it doesn't break. Yeah. But you, you don't need the styrofoam, do you? We don't absolutely have to have the styrofoam. It's a kind of a backup plan. Yeah. Murray with Lake of the Woods Electric set up our system so that when we're not using it we can turn a valve and it'll drain it drain yeah. the line so there won't be any water in the line so show me the lines what what what's what so one of these lines is a heat trace yep which will uh thaw out our line if it uh, does freeze or keep it from freezing yep the big one is a water pump line we have a submersible pump going in okay yeah so that'll feed the the submersible pump then we won't have that pump noise yep the so the time. pump's out there because sometimes the pump would be in the cabin and it would suck it now it's going to be in the lake and it's going to push it up yeah is that right? exactly yeah and then this and then uh filter big o is just a backup plan uh if we have to run a new line at some point we won't have to get equipment down here oh that's uh, that's a smart move yeah so that was something that scotty came up with and uh and maybe zeke group as, effort as, as a backup plan just yeah because i mean bringing the machinery down is a lot of work so yeah beginning of our water system yeah there's there's all sorts of uh pieces to the water system in the mechanical room there and like i said that'll be that'll be a video on its own because there's there's a lot to talk about it's gonna be exciting when you can turn the tap on and get clean drinking water that dom tech roofing looks good mark got the ridge cap on and he actually put some permanent anchors up there if we ever need to go up on the roof dump up the solar panels whatever else you know the attachments are always there so that's that's nice to have that's a pretty steep roof so you got to be tied off These guys are so good on the machinery. I, I have uh, a lot of respect for that. I, I asked if I could use it, they said no. They're landscaping right now. They're trying to get the water draining away, away from the cabin. All right, well, while the other guys do their work, I'm going to get the deep fryer and I'm gonna cook up some walleyes. Mike and I caught a couple this morning, a couple from the other day the guys had, so fish tacos, I think is the plan. Pretty much the only thing left in here is the deep fryer. Spicy. We're gonna have enough fish for everyone, I think. There guys, the fish is getting cold. It's all getting cold. Hurry up and eat it. This next batch will be spicy actually. What's that capital? I've heard of it before. Ooh, that is some hot oil. 
Jay, this isn't the... Jay, this isn't a meat. There we go. Let's see that fish taco, Ben. Beautiful. Look at that. Mine is not as... Mm. The camera's filming, you have to say it's good. <laughs> no, go, go. <laughs> so every good video has like a... has an issue or a climax or something goes wrong. And we have that in this video. Mark hasn't talked about it yet, but what's... What's the major issue at hand right now, Mark? I'm putting you on the spot. My mom told me not to eat with food in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well wait, cut. What's the issue? Tell me the issue. Is it the issue that the friendship is on the bottom? Yes. No, okay. Yeah. Who's accepting the blame for that? Spencer. <laughs> Spencer. Yeah. Because he's gone. Because he's not here. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, the water was nice and high this spring. Everybody on Lake of the Woods uh, hated it, but it was perfect for what we were doing here. And uh, the friendship was sitting high and dry this morning when we woke up because the wind shifted. It's sitting on land. Yeah. It's basically. the back. The back end of the friendship is still floating. Um, so we're hoping with some manpower and maybe a tug from a boat and who knows what else. We need to get it unstuck because the water's only dropping and it is dropping fast now. Um, I got to take off, unfortunately. So ideally, you'll see an iPhone clip of a bunch of grown men struggling to push a boat offshore. If we don't get it off today, it's just going to get tougher. And I'm worried about eventually that skag getting so deep in there that we're going to break stuff. Yeah, because the water's probably not going to be this high next year. No. So I got to take off. Thanks to all these amazing people for helping out. I'll link them below. Yeah, I'm not sure when I'll be back next, but huge progress today. A lot of landscaping done around the side. I'll show you a aerial view to end things off. But um, yeah, next step is insulating, getting the water system going and then putting the solar panels on all we got. See you guys next time. Well, Mark, what do you think? Are you going to get it out? <laughs> Captain goes down with a ship. <laughs> you got it in reverse, trying to wash some of the mud from underneath the boat. Sorry, Jay. We couldn't video everything because we all had to do some work, but it's out. <laughs> <laughs>